My fellow Americans, tis I, the rumpled one. Hey, I'm back. And I was away offline for two whole weeks. It's funny. Guess in a way, I should, maybe I should be doing a prepping video. Um, what happens when your laptop dies? That's what happened. My laptop died. I was away, had no way of uh, getting on the internet for two solid weeks. And I guess in this time, I've uh, see I've gone over a thousand subscribers. So welcome everybody, new people. Glad you're watching. Thank you very much. Appreciate everybody's comments and replies. And I've gotten back to some of them. I've read them, but let me tell you, when you don't get to your email for two weeks, it stacks up. Anyway, today's topic: lying. A couple weeks ago, I made a uh, video, Obama, you know, lying through omission. But while I was away, and no internet, and no TV for the last week either, I read some books. What else do you do, right? Listen to radio, listen to radio watch the stars at night, read books. Well, usually if I'm away, I'll try to read topics that I don't normally read just to broaden my horizons maybe learn something new well I'd say I read a history book and I read a uh, psychology book and the psychology book that I read I believe the name was inside the criminal mind I'm usually I usually don't read about criminals but it sounded interesting but what I did was I read the last chapter first, and then I read the chapter before that. And it was really interesting. Uh, what this particular doctor was proposing was that to rehabilitate a criminal, you have to rehabilitate the way they think. That must change. Now, what's all that got to do with lying? Well, one of the things that criminals do is they lie and we the people we've been lied to our whole lives by our government we all know it and I think what's happened is is that that's what we expect so it's no big deal I mean you know Obama gets on the air he lies no big deal other congressmen senators get on the air they lie your local city councilor, county councilors sit up there in the office. They lie. It's like, well, what are you going to, what do you expect? That's what they do. They lie. Well, they all need to be rehabilitated. They, their thought has to be changed that lying becomes something that disgusts them to the core and they wouldn't do it ever again. So what do we do? Well, I guess one of the best ways to teach is by action that you yourself take. So if you stop lying, then you live through example. That's, that's a tough pill to swallow. It's like, well, you know, I'm not one of those people that say, well, if everybody, because as a student of logic, I know that other than the one statement that everybody's going to die, just anytime you start off a uh, argument, well, if everybody, if all the people, it's just basically a faulty argument. Now, somebody could, of course, logically say, well, how do you know everybody's going to die? Maybe there's somebody that'll live forever. But that's a whole different topic. The point is, is that you have to take action yourself live your life and do the best that you can now I know this probably sounds like something you've heard before but that's just the way it is but the other thing is is when I'm offline that long and there's quote unquote nothing to do and you're out someplace where it's so quiet you can hear yourself think you, you start to ponder and you realize certain things and that's how I came up and realized about the line. And 
maybe we need to start calling the politicians on lies. Remember that one uh, congressman while Obama was speaking and he yelled out, liar? Well, he, you know, of course he had to apologize, but maybe if that's what we did. I mean, could you imagine what would happen if, say, there's a uh, politician standing up in an auditorium, bunch of people there, and he says something, and, you know, 20, 30 people started yelling out, liar! You know, maybe it would catch on. Next thing you know, it's 50 to 100 people. It'd basically be pandemonium. But think about the overall effect if that repeatedly happened repeatedly happened over and over and over again when these politicians got up in front of the people and they, and they started lying and the people shouted them down. Maybe, just maybe they quit lying. Something to think about. I don't know if it would work. You know, of course, they would bring in the um, police and I guess maybe a few people might get thrown out of the building, but what would happen if more people started doing it and more people got thrown out? Pretty soon there wouldn't be too many people for them to lie to. It's just something to think about. Anyway, we, each one of us, if we stop lying, that's the first step. If we call out others when they lie, then maybe, just maybe, we can affect the change that we really need. It's up to you. It's just my opinion. And once again, though, America, wake up and smell the hypocrisy.